funny because even amongst minimalists, we say that you don't have to wear the same thing every day and you can wear whatever you want. But all of the minimalists, even though they say you can wear whatever you want, none of them actually wear whatever they want. They always just wear the same thing like they're part of a cult, which is frustrating to me. And a lot of them have this idea that Steve Jobs and Barack Obama wore the same things every day. The human brain has to make 420,069 decisions a day. I have more important decisions to make than choosing what to wear in the morning. But for me, that's just boring. And I like choosing what I want to wear in the morning for the day. I like variety. I like getting dressed up. And also, I'm not the president of the United States or running the most profitable company in the world. I'm not pretending that my decisions in my life are that important that I can't even choose what shirt to wear in the morning. This is my men's minimalist wardrobe. Yours doesn't have to look like this and your minimalist wardrobe can look completely different from mine and it should because it's yours. You shouldn't just wear gray t-shirts every day. You can if you want, but you don't have to. <laughs> Perhaps the most interesting part of having a minimalist wardrobe is how much underwear is enough. The least amount of underwear that I had was four pairs and I had to do laundry like twice a week. I, was just, I just hand washed my clothes anyway, so it wasn't a huge deal, but it was annoying. But I've since re-upped my underwear and gone to nine pairs of underwear so I could do it once a week plus have one extra. Most of my underwear is just Under Armour trunks because it's comfortable. Also, trunks are shorter than boxer briefs so that it packs lighter. Currently, what I'm wearing, I'm wearing this Hawaiian shirt. I got it in Japan, 100% silk. Woolen print shirt, I actually just became an affiliate of them, but I bought this with my own money and I love it to bits. You can wear wool. You'll notice a common theme in my closet. There's a lot of wool. Um, the thing with wool is that you can wear it pretty much every day for a week, two weeks, even a month, just doing your regular activities, sweating in it, <laughs> and you just hang it up at the end of the day and it doesn't stink, so I really love this shirt. I have one pair of jeans. That's it. These are Levi's, like, not even the real Levi's. <laughs> it's like Levi's signature model, um, which is like 30 bucks. I don't like spending a ton of money on pants because I bike a lot and I, I chew through pants like once every year. I have two pairs of socks currently. I own three pairs of socks. I have a winter pair of socks up here in this box and we'll go over the winter clothes later. I actually own more pairs of shoes than I have pairs of socks and that's because they're wool. You can wear them every day for an entire week, two weeks even, they don't stink. I wash them once a week, they're great. So these are smart wool socks and darn tough socks. I like smart wool socks better. The other underwear I have are these uh, Uniqlo Airism undershirts. I mostly just wear them in the summer so I can sweat and not get my nice clothes as dirty as often. One set of sleeping clothes. So I have, I have a set of, of shorts <laughs> and then just this American Eagle gray t-shirt I've been wearing since 2016. This is one of the most comfortable t-shirts I've ever worn. It's great. It's almost threadbare. It's got a bunch of tears in it. And I don't need sweats or anything like that. I get really hot when I sleep. <laughs> and shorts are just always more comfortable for me, even if it's freezing cold outside. And you may be thinking, oh yeah, Zach, it's easy for you to not have all these clothes, or as much clothes as me, and to call yourself a minimalist because you live in California. But it's like, I live all over. I just got back from living in Taiwan, which is super hot. And last year, last winter, I was living in Michigan in the snow. So no, I do actually have winter clothes. <laughs> Realistically, I only need to wash my sleeping clothes like once a week. They don't stink. That's another thing about being a minimalist and having a minimalist wardrobe is that you wash things when they're dirty, visibly, or they stink. Don't just throw things in a hamper because you wore it once. Not only will your clothes last longer, you get to do less laundry. I own two pairs of shorts. I don't wear these ones as often because they're kind of wacky, but they're fun. Uh, these are Lululemon pool shorts or something like that. Um, it's always good to have a nice pair of swimming trunks. And the other thing with this is they can just double up as regular shorts and wear them for the day. These are Banana Republic six inch shorts. They're just cotton canvas. This year I redid pretty much my entire wardrobe for the first time in forever. I was just dressing like an NPC <laughs> before that. Uh, 
because I just haven't found clothes that I really love wearing that make me feel like me until this year. In Taiwan, I want bananas. Like, they had this shop. It's called Nuzon. I'll leave their Instagram in the description. And they have exactly the stuff that I was looking for, which is like sauce, but also classy. This knitted short sleeve, nice and airy, and it looks completely different whether you're wearing a white undershirt or a black undershirt. These next two are also from that shop in Taiwan. Woven, kind of see-through kind of thing. It's so classy, it's so saucy, so much personality. Woven design, can wear it in the summer, light and airy while still giving you layers, it looks real sick. Finally, a blazer that doesn't make me look like I'm going to work or I'm a dad. It's unlined, nice and thin, but still very classy. A little more uh, casual, but still has that formal formality to it that blazers give. And now that we're at the, the hanger section, let me show you how I organize everything. There is a method. So, I organize it by uh, type, of thing it is. So these are my jackets. One, two, three, four. These are my long sleeve shirts. One, two, three, four. Um, these get folded because they're woven and if you hang them up, they would pull and stretch. Shirts, underwear, sleeping clothes, shorts, socks. Everything gets organized from dark to light in that category. Everything in my closet has a specific place where it goes so that I know exactly where to find it and I know exactly where to put it back and it just makes being organized way easier. This is what started my whole like sauce phase that I'm going through right now. Hats are sick. It's making a statement, but it says like, yeah, I'm well put together, but also I'm, it makes me more comfortable. Like I freaking love hats. I have two hats. This one I got in New Orleans. It's a Capas Panama hat made in Italy. It was pricey, but I bought this hat because I was searching for a hat for probably like three months, a summer hat. None of the hats looked good on me, none of them. I went to dozens of stores. I go into Mayor the Hatter, New Orleans, and this guy asks, you looking for a hat? He hands, I say, yes I am. He hands me this, I put it on. Boom, perfect, perfect. I didn't care that it was 170 bucks. I bought it immediately and I'm glad I did. And then I also have a winter hat. This is a Bailey hat, flat brim hat, black wool felt for winter. So that all keeps me warm, but still looks sick. Like I feel like a celebrity when I wear this hat. Oh, just to prove how sick hats are, I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the video. I got this for 50 bucks at a thrift shop. It's made of silk, <laughs> dry clean only. It's another one of those things where it's just like, wow, I love this thing. Cause the, the pattern is just so, it's so fun yet it's so classy. And also if you can see in the light, it's not just like the print itself, but it also has like a hound's tooth shimmery layer on top of it. Like sometimes when you get vintage stuff, it's like, man, they don't really, make things the way they used to. When I put this on, I felt like this belongs to me. The cut is like shorter to make it more artsy. And this one is a lined blazer. I just got this jacket from Uniqlo. It was off season, it was on sale. It's like 20 bucks, but <laughs> I like it way more than I was expecting because it's just so versatile. Like it's just a casual khaki jacket, but like you can, you can dress it up and Dress it down. It's sick. It's sick. It's got double breast pockets. It's also got pockets on the inside. It's such a useful utility jacket. Canvas, cotton canvas, so it still breathes reasonably well. Good mild weather jacket. The only jacket that I'm missing in my wardrobe is a waterproof jacket. Um, I used to have a Patagonia waterproof jacket. I got rid of it because I was just like, this doesn't look like me. I look like some techie in San Francisco and that's not me. I had this shirt tailor made for me in Thailand in 2020. I feel like I'm James Bond when I wear this shirt. It's so classy, but I live a very active lifestyle. And when I got these shirts, I was like, I kind of feel like it's too nice to do what I normally do in these shirts. I just lost 20 pounds just putting this shirt on. It's amazing. Come on, come on. 
keep it around just in case I have a formal event to go to, but I work from home. I don't have any coworkers. Um, <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> Get some friends. I just don't go to a lot of formal events and this is a very formal shirt, but it's good to have at least one so I, I don't have to rent a shirt at men's warehouse. <laughs> this is another one of those like semi see-through permeable breezy shirts. But yeah, I like black a lot and just the texture it gives also looks completely different whether whatever you're wearing underneath. So I made a review video uh, on this t-shirt, the Woolen Prince t-shirt, and I loved it so much and they loved my review so much that they got in contact with me and asked if I want to be an affiliate for them and they sent me a few items to try out. This is one of them. This is just a, a wool 100% is it 100? It might not be. I don't remember. It's a wool uh, button-up shirt. And this shirt is famous for um, doing the 100 day challenge. So the founder of Woolen Prince, he wore the same shirt, uh, just like this one, just a different pattern, for every day for 100 days without washing. And that is just amazing. Because look, honestly, I don't need anything else in my wardrobe, but just like, maybe three wool pieces and a jacket to put over on top and I'd be good. This is just like one of those staples. You don't have to wash it pretty much ever. Maybe once a year if you're wearing it a lot. This is one of the best fitting shirts I've ever gotten. Just right out of the box. Not tailored whatsoever. Boom. Oh, oh, now I'm ready. I'm so fall right now. <laughs> I didn't think purple was a good color for me, but I found this piece at a vintage shop in Taiwan and snagged it for 20 bucks. Super silky smooth. It is extremely resistant to wrinkling and it washes up really easily. I was wearing this shirt and this hat maybe a month ago. I was just walking in a plaza in front of Safeway and then, and then the security guard, she just looked at me and she was like, Bruno Mars, 100% silk Hawaiian shirt. Got this in Japan for a hundred bucks. Basically, I got into Hawaiian shirts because I found this one. This one's a made in the US Hawaiian shirt. And it's got a little parrot on it. I found it at a vintage store in Taiwan, um, but genuine Hawaiian shirt made in Hawaii. How can I be wearing a Hawaiian shirt and be upset at all? Like, it doesn't fit. You like, you have to take off the shirt to be upset. You have to choose to be upset. I just want to show, hey, I'm not square, okay? I can wear a Hawaiian shirt to work because I'm my own boss. Then we got a couple shirts. Here's a long sleeve woolen prints. Uh, they just sent this over for me to try out. Thank you guys. The clothes in my closet that I wear the most every day just because it's so comfortable, so practical, so not stinky and not dirty looking. And then uh, woolen prints, v-neck. I bought this with my own money. It's like 80, 80 bucks or something and it's worth every single penny. A neck scarf because I like wearing layers, but it's hard to wear layers in the summer while still being not super sweaty, like with a jacket. There you go. Ooh. And then this box is all my winter gear. Smart wool base layers. Wool is amazing. Wear it every day. It doesn't stink. Keeps you warm. Smart wool neck gaiter. Smart wool gloves. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. A pair of Hestra gloves to cut out the wind when I'm biking. I have some smart wool socks very warm enough with some boots. Reasonably dangerous, <laughs> every day is leg day. This is my own brand. Uh, hoodie, I wear this a lot when it's cold enough. Burn beanie that goes underneath a helmet so you can stay warm when you're biking in winter. These are makers and riders lined pants, waterproof and uh, insulated inside. 100% wool turtleneck, got this on sale from <laughs> Banana Republic. I wear this a lot in winter. It's classy, it's comfy. The headband, I wear this a lot in summer because having sweat in your eyes, it kind of burns. These are all the shoes that I own. I'm not a huge shoe person. Let's start off over on the left. So these are rainbows, the comfy edition. I don't know what they're called. I've had these since 2017. They are the most comfortable slippers on planet earth or flip flops. And you can actually walk on the beach and walk in the water with them without having the thong pop out. And then obviously I like Chucks. Uh, these are some off-white ones, super beat up. You gotta keep it laced at the slip-on points. 
Got some waterproof chucks. This nice plum and yellow color. And then I wanted black chucks, but the regular black chucks are just kind of too standard and don't have a whole lot of personality, but because they are so classic. So I went with these black boot chucks, the lug sole. These are really cool. I have so many chucks because a guy that I ride with, he works for Converse and can get 40% off of <laughs> Converse stuff. And also they're just classic. They look great with everything. And then I also have a pair of Red Wing Iron Rangers, the most expensive pair of shoes that I own. These things will last a lifetime. They're made in the USA. You can send them back in and get them resold if they ever wear out. Literally built for life. 23 articles of clothing. That's all I need. It's plenty. For some of you, it's not gonna be a lot. For some of you, it's going to be way too much. And even just for myself, a year ago, I'd be like, whoa, 23 pieces of clothing. That's way too much. I don't need more than 10. <laughs> I wear everything in my closet regularly. Let me know in the comments below. How many articles of clothing do you have in your closet? And tell me whether you're a minimalist or not. Catch you in the next vlog. Oh, peace out. <laughs>